Does this message offend you? And you are the problem. Hi, I'm the Militant Vegan and I'm here to show you the truth. Right now, animals are being enslaved, captured, gassed, torn to pieces, just so primitive folks like you can eat their dismembered body parts. Grow up, stop taking their mother milk. You're not a baby cow. Be vegan for the animals instead of brutally against them. So we're on our way to the London Eye right now to tell some people the truth about animal slavery and their contribution to it as long as they're not vegan. If you're not vegan, you're a hypocrite and a murderer. You enslave animals to eat their body parts. That makes you a hypocrite enslaving animal murderer. Okay, do you, do you think that slavery is okay? <laughs> no. Do you think that rape is okay? <laughs> no. Awesome, I like your moral values. <laughs> Would you consider the animals to be free? <laughs> nah. I don't nah. know about them as this. They're enslaved, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you consider this to be consensual sex or rape? What are you laughing at? Rape? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no, 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 that is sad. That is sad. But, but do you know why this happens? Why, why? This is artificial insemination that happens for all kinds of animal products and this is the dairy industry. So if you're against slavery and if you're against rape and you're not vegan, what does that make you? I don't know. A hypocrite. <laughs> nah, how am I a hypocrite? I'm what about chicken though? What about chicken? Well, it's not me well, doing Well, chicken can... Yeah. But you're paying for that. No, and no, after this conversation, you know the consequence of what you're buying is rape, murder, and this is a dead chicken. But in the end, it's I an animal that, though. I can't lie. But, but in the end, listen, 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 I hear yeah. <laughs> In the end, it does. Listen, listen. You gotta think, in the end, Animals are made for humans to eat. It is not true. How it is it's been like that for a millennium of yeah. years, it's not true. So, so wait, there's multiple um, arguments here. So just because something's natural doesn't make it right. Natural is rape, natural is violence, you know? No, just, is it so called a naturalistic fallacy? What you said is because we've been doing it since a long time, that's an appeal to tradition. Just because well, we've been doing something for a long time does life. not make it correct. So it's it's we're, we're jumping from argument to argument here. But Look, it's vegan bullshit, bingo. I get you've never been confronted that's fine, but we have to slow it down a bit if you want to take this seriously. Yeah, yeah, circle of life. A circle of life does not have to involve violence and death and slaughterhouses. If we have, if we have the responsibility, if we are on some kind of top of the chain, then we have the responsibility over the ones that are lower, and it's not a justification for violence. You see? You're against animal abuse, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Would yeah, you consider I, this to be abuse? I suppose it's violent, yeah, but yeah. if you see in the wild a, a wolf ragging up a sheep, that's yeah. also natural. Yeah, it's terrible though, right? That's, so their food. that's what I'm trying to say. A wolf will go out and eat a sheep. I know, but so you're not a wolf though. Yeah, but how yeah, else? You're not a wolf. <laughs> you're a human being, you know? Yeah, but listen, humane, yeah, the so word. Wait, 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 stop, stop, we're being too fast. You're saying you want to orient your values on the basis of a wild animal. That makes you inhumane. Humanity means that you have a conscience, that you have a choice. The animals don't. So in the moment where you act like a wild animal, you're losing if your animals humanity. Decided to eat, if if animals decided wait, wait, to eat yeah. plants, they could evolve to be vegetarians, but they'd rather not because it's more beneficial. So, wh so, wh so whatever animals do does not have any value on my moral decisions because even that. if others go and rape, I don't have to contribute to that. And the thing with the proteins, look at him. He's a vegan bodybuilder. You can get all proteins yeah, yeah. from a, from a fully plant-based diet. Yeah, sure. Uh, what, so do you strictly consume a vegan diet? No yes, meat. I'm a vegan. No dairy products. Either. I don't eat the flesh of murdered bodies. Okay. I don't drink the milk of raped and enslaved animals. I don't take the eggs of animals either. I don't wear their skin and their fur because I wouldn't do that to your family. I wouldn't peel off his skin. I wouldn't take his eggs. I wouldn't drink your mother's milk. I owe that respect to your families and I give the same kind of respect to the animal families. Do you, do you eat uh, avocados or almonds as part of your diet? Sometimes I do. Okay, did you know that? 
hundreds of millions of bees die yeah. each year in the production Insects, of Insects, that's true. In every kind of agricultural system, animals die. But what exactly. system do you think at the end of the day exactly. will be more respectful to animals? The ones that treat animals as commodities and do that intentionally murder, enslave them? Yes. Or the industries who are saying, OK, we are building plant-based food systems and trying to avoid crop well, theft, trying to respect insects. I realize that, but the most insects die, the most bees die for the fields where they build crops and harvest for the animals that you additionally yeah, that consume and murder. So if you want to have that as a point, that's actually a reason for consuming a plant-based diet. Well, let, me, well, let me add on to my point. Well, consider well, in, in, in the... In this scenario, bees, bees would be more important than chickens, for example, because bees are responsible for the pollution of flowers. Yeah, and I just told you, if you consume animal products, you are actually hurting no, bees and other I, insects I more than if you eat the purely plant-based diet. And then again, just because bees dies, to see it from a deontological perspective would not be a justification for me putting humans into slaughterhouses. Because you value intention versus not intentional death differently morally. One can be avoided and should be avoided further along, and the other other cannot because you're doing it intentionally with the justification that animals are just commodity. Are you really for slavery and rape? No, you are correct. I shall change my ways. I give you a card. If you mean that seriously, watch the movie Dominion on here. Watch it. Show it to your friends. It's the truth. Watch it on here. It's a German card, but the site is in English. Don't be a hypocrite. I'm yes. vegetarian. Children are Palestinian yeah. are dying. Yeah. So now I feel like priorities yeah. to advocate yeah. for children being slaughtered like animals yeah. rather than actual animals. Yeah, children Even feel exactly like the animal children. And as a vegetarian, you are responsible for the rape and murder of millions of animals who can feel just like these Palestinian children. Yeah, and, and uh, by the way, keep in mind that they're killing animals in Gaza yeah. as well. They're, yeah. they're butchering all the animals. Why are you in still Gaza? butchering animals to drink their baby milk? I don't drink milk, I'm vegan. You said you're a vegetarian. No, I, I only drink uh, almond milk. Is it is almond milk? It's vegan. Oh, yeah, Do you I consume I'm eggs? No, at all. Yeah. So you're vegan. Yeah, it's it's awesome that you want to. It's awesome that you want to raise awareness against war, but the biggest kind of war is the one that we have on animals. So if your friends are not vegan, they are actually contributing to the biggest ethical urgency on I, this planet. I, I, I'm, I'm doing yeah, my. Yeah, but that's terrible, right? No, it's not fine for your victims. But God created animals, so we eat them. So if you want to believe in your delusional sky man, then I can believe in my delusional sky woman and say, God created blonde women with green eyes so I can eat them. Can I send you to the slaughterhouse now? But I'm not an animal, I'm a human. I said blonde women with green eyes. My God woman oh, created okay. women like you so I can okay. eat their body parts. Would you see that as a justification to no, send you no, to... No, no, so why is your God a valid justification for violence then? No, Religion is not a justification for murder. You're an animal abusing hypocrite. No, I have a question. Like, why your friends you... are murderers. You realize that. I'm not, I, I, I do my part and it's the most important thing. But I also feel like if you're advocating... Those are not good people. You should not be friends with them. You should get more I'm better friends that are not actually doing... Imagine your friends would be murdering Palestinian children every day. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to cut them off right away. <laughs> you're but not. You're thinking this is funny, right? No, I'm, I'm actually like... Yeah. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable to do not be vegan. Not being vegan is not okay. I agree with you. Awesome. But I also feel like like you know, speaking about, um, about uh, animal abuse, we have to speak about human abuse yeah, as well. Yeah, I like do that too. And so if people like in my friend circle would be shooting humans every day and paying for that actively just for their taste pleasure, then I would tell them that they're fucking murderers. Yeah, and, and but this and is the biggest ethical urgency on the planet because it no, has the most victims and it's the most the easily to funniest. revoke. You know, 40, over 40k 40 uh, uh, Palestinian are dead. Yeah. Like in one hour, four million animals die because of humans also, like your friends who shoot them in the head. Shame on you. Shame on you. You think that's funny? Are you a little pick me vegan who thinks that's okay? I think I think shame. I think killing yeah. anyone in the world is shame. It's a shame. I it's think a shame. Yeah. All, all soul is uh, sacred yes. and all yes. souls should be saved. That's true. That's beautiful. Including uh, Palestinians. And Israel children too. Of course, all yes. the children. Yes, the war is bad. Of war course. on animals is also bad. War on animals is the biggest war that we have on the planet. Of we course. can speak for human rights just at the same time as animal rights. But just because we are against war in Gaza or somewhere else does not give us a justification to send animals to the slaughterhouse. Of course, and that's yeah. why uh, animals are getting uh, killed and slaughtered in Gaza. So. Yeah. Yeah. So actually the war on the animals is the first kind of oppression that we learn as children. You know, racism
racism is the is speciesism is the root of racism because we say ah you're just an animal just like they say ah you're just I don't know Palestinian Israeli black white ah you look a little different than me that's what we do to animals so that's what you have to tell your friends be intersectional if they are feminist it's Women's Day today Happy But Women's Day thank you you too thank you thank you but if you're against like rape and torture then why do we do that to animals and then your friends go off and say oh my delusional sky man said it's okay you can believe in whatever you no, want to stand the clock Of course I can. I will do. If other people hear voices, we would call them delusional. Just because you name it God doesn't make it less of a delusion. It's disrespectful, It's disrespectful towards the animals. Yeah, I stay respectful as long as they don't take their religion as a justification for violence. I have the same God as everybody else. Don't don't speak like this about my. Yeah, I think it's disrespectful of her to say that her God allows violence on animals. My God does not allow violence on animals. Yeah, but hers obviously does. We have the same God. Well, God is just and God then is fair and God she does not. You or you or awesome. yeah. in the well, whatever you, you want to believe in, you can. But as long as you don't hurt someone, I don't look. I don't care about your God. But I think it's disrespectful to me you if God. you want me to believe in your God. That's disrespectful God, to like me we have too. One God. Okay, that's being disrespectful to me. I could be just as offended as people who I call their God delusional skymans are too. So whatever. This is a whole different topic. Whatever you believe in cannot be a justification for slitting throats open. And your friends over there are hypocritical animal abusers that try to say, my God allows murder. And religion can never be a justification for that. I'm going to give you this card. It says a movie on there. It's called Dominion, and it shows the animal slavery. Hi, are you vegan or are you enslaving animals? You're a murderer. What are you laughing about? Animals' heads are being cut off. Are you for international women's rights? Are you international women's rights? Why are you raping cows then? Huh? Why are you raping cows on International Me? Women's Day? Yeah, do you consume dairy? No. Do you consume animal products? No. Are you vegan? Yes. What did you eat for breakfast? Today I didn't eat. I haven't eaten anything oh, okay. today. But that's not healthy. I haven't eaten disorder. I'm so sorry. What did you eat yesterday? Nothing. So what was your last vegan meal? Nothing. I don't eat. You don't eat. You're not vegan. You're a liar and an animal abuser. I respect it. Are you vegan? Vegetarian. Why are you not respecting the animals? This is happening for dairy. I know, and that's why I'm trying to go vegan. It's also insemination. Yeah, exactly. That's rape, and we're against rape. It's International Women's Day. You wouldn't yeah. want that done to your body. I know. You wouldn't want your children taken away, your eggs taken away, your families ripped apart. I know. So, I went vegan for a while, so I, I know that I'm. Um, I know that I'm a hypocrite. Yeah. I know. But doesn't that make it worse? Because, Because you even know it. Yeah. You have the human privilege and the human responsibility to just do it from now on. I'm going to give you a card to make it a little bit easier. Yeah. There's a movie on here. It's called Dominion. Please okay. watch it with your boyfriend, husband, whatever. Please watch that together. Awesome. You're a beautiful couple, by the way. But you would be even more beautiful if you stopped enslaving animals. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's in German. I'm an Austrian activist, but I'm um, doing English content now, but we have no cards yet. But the site is English too. Nick yeah, it, yeah. Oh, like it's okay. today. Yeah, it says not being not vegan, vegan is, is not okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, I 100%. I'm, I back you with that. So please don't just say the words, but walk the walk. And no, I do. I try, and I'm trying to have more like the like I've cut out milk, so I have like dairy milk most of the time, like non-dairy milk, and like few more things. So I, know I know it's I harsh, but don't see it as a journey. Don't see it as a reducing, but see it as an urgency. Because when do the animals want you to be vegan? Now, yeah. now. So you have the possibility of choice. They don't. So yeah. choose kindly. Don't choose violence. Can I see the other thing behind? Yeah, you? sure, sure, sure. We have a couple. Um, oh no, try to explain. It's just the truth, and people are provoked by the truth because. Oh, the baby cows. Okay. Yeah, the baby cows. You're <laughs> separating them if you consume animal products. I, I get hungry. Yeah. You get hungry? Is that your response? Are you a little toddler who wants to provoke the vegan activist? I've never heard that one before. Yes, yeah, we get a steak together and murder some baby animals. Wow, what a grown-up man. I like to cook that. I like to cook that. Imagine I look at your friend and say, ah, oh, I like to cook that. Oh, look at that juicy leg. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, fuck human rights. Fuck animal rights. Clowns. Just don't let yourself be dragged down by something like that. They're not supposed to be protected. They are protecting animals. Exactly. Have a great vegan day. Are you vegan or are you an animal enslaver <laughs> yeah violence is not an opinion you know and you need a good justification to murder animals so is there one you don't know uh, yes you do do you realize that animals suffer just like human beings
Yeah, so why do we do something to the animals that we would never accept for us or our families? You don't have to look to your friend, you can think on your own. I know that's hard sometimes, but it's necessary when it comes to fascism on animals. You, yeah, so do you, can you voice words or? No, not really. So, okay, you do realize that right now animals are standing at the slaughterhouse because of you, so you need a good reason no, for I that. I just fucking hot dogs from five guys. Yeah, awesome. What's your justification for murdering animals? <laughs> I, hate an I hate animals. You hate animals? I love meat so much. Okay, so animals. if I hate you, I still have no justification to rape and enslave you. Why, why, My are, you hate why alone are you chatting is to me, bro? I don't care. Because you are on the side of violence, and of course you don't care, you're the perpetrator of why violence. Why are you on the side of violence? Though? Because what you're the done? one paying for a hot dog, which forces <laughs> violence onto I animals. I just, I just ate a fucking hot dog. Yeah. Because you're a murderer and you need a justification for violence. Imagine if I made a imagine if I made a hot dog out of your mother, how would you react? <laughs> Can I make your mom into a hot dog too and laugh about it? Have like a little dance eating your mom? Let me, let me say something. No, don't touch yeah, the microphone. Fuck yeah, you can make my mom into a hot dog. I can make your mom into a hot dog. Okay, that's about as intellectually dishonest I'll as we'll get into tonight. A hot dog. <laughs> okay, you would probably need a justification for that. And the moment that your mother is standing in the gas chambers and the slaughterhouses, I think you wouldn't find this as funny anymore. I think if you would actually see your mother at the slaughterhouse crying for her life, shouting your name because you would be the reason for her standing there, you wouldn't think this were so funny anymore. There are real victims of this slavery and you're sending them into the slaughterhouse, cutting their head off, dismembering their body parts. And this is your reaction to it. This is nothing else than convenient running along with a mass of people who are opportunistic, human supremacists in his full form right here. No justification for violence except for, I just ate a hot dog. And he said, I can do that to his mom. Yeah. That's so dishonest. Your this, mother would what, cry. What's this going on? What's this going on? YouTube? Probably. TikTok? Do you realize what you just said? That I can dismember your family? Fuck yeah, you can, man. Can I dismember his family too? Nah, <laughs> you wouldn't like that, right? So if you wouldn't like that for your but family... I just ate a hot dog. So if you wouldn't like that for your family, why are you doing what that I to animal families? Dog. It's a hot dog. That deep, bro, is it? it is that deep, actually. You're sending them quite deep into your fucking back. belly. So you need a justification for violence. Why would you do that? Why would you do that to animal families, but wouldn't want to do that to to animal to yourself, to your own family? I am the militant vegan on TikTok. This is an animal abuser. Be vegan, not brutal. Stop animal slavery today. You are human. You have privileges that the animals don't. Raise your voice for the voiceless. This is not humane. This is a monster. Be vegan. Yeah. He said that I can turn his mom into a hot dog, and he laughs about. It. This is only as long funny as you don't actually see the tears of the animals. If you imagine your mom, your family standing in these industries, being raped, being murdered, being enslaved, you wouldn't find this funny anymore. You're a fucking hypocrite and a murderer who is trying to make fun of something because his guilty conscience is eating him up alive, trying to be the clown in front of your friends. You said you wouldn't want your families to be at the slaughterhouse right now, but you're sending animal families there. What you don't want done to you, don't do upon others. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> yeah, that's the golden rule. <laughs> Dancing is not an argument for slavery and murder. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> Grow up. You're not impressing me. I've been doing this activism <laughs> since three years. Oh, this is the best you got? Jane. This is the best you got? I can dance better than you and I still have the it's better arguments. Dance, dance. I can dance better and still tell you that you're a fucking rapist of animals as long as you're not vegan. That's not cool. I can't make your mom to a hot dog. You wouldn't enjoy that. I just a hot dog, man. ain't even I heard that 10 times now. It's not getting more creative the more often you say it. <sighs> You have spasms or something? Oh. See, now you're being disrespectful. You obviously you have brain spasms. You're being disrespectful. You're actually dancing on the deathbeds of animals and you're calling me disrespectful? I just ate a hot dog. That's like the epitome of respect, Why right? Why are you mocking animals? He's mocking animals. He's murdering them. He's mocking animals. I just ate a hot dog. What's that? Is that paying respect to animals that he's been stabbing? Did I kill yeah. an animal? I ate a hot dog for five guys. Oh my God, like, do you have Alzheimer's that you have to constantly repeat yourself? Yeah. Do you? Is there like brain fog because of all the cholesterol in your brain? Actually, a hot dog. Oh my God, I think he, he really does have Alzheimer's. I'm so sorry for you. Yo, but guys, then again, I'm actually not because he's actually a murderer. And my sympathy for murderers is this tiny. 
So please grow up. I know you're, you're thinking too that he's a bit of a clown right now. No, I'm not. I think you understood. <laughs> you wouldn't want your family to be sent to the slaughterhouse. My, my family is animals though. Your families are human animals. We are apes. We can feel exactly the same as animals. And even if you don't want to call us animals, we feel just like them. We have the responsibility not to go in there and buy animal products because the animals feel just like us. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Why are you coming to me? Because you are still the perpetrator of violence here and I'm trying to put myself between you and the animal victims and saying stop. Can I be honest though? You chat to me, making me want to eat animals more, I'll be real. Yeah, you will probably not. So we have no evidence that what I'm telling you right now will actually have any negative okay. effect on the moral rights movement for animal justice. But it just shows people who are a bit more responsible, what kind of clowns people are, who are having no arguments to continue abusing and enslaving animals. That's all you're doing. You're actually helping the animal rights movement and the animals right now. So thank you for that, but still you're a fucking clown. Yo, I just farted. <laughs> yeah, I farted too. <laughs> so, but that makes you a farting murderer and it makes me a farting animal rights activist. I don't know why you're coming for me, man. I'm just Because you're a street. fucking murderer of animals. I'm I know, I know you're thinking you're so innocent and stuff, but this is actually like the biggest holocaust that's ever happened on the planet. It's just, it's just, it's yeah? just animals, bro. Yeah, that's exactly what they said about Jews. Jews? What? Yeah. That's exactly what they said about black people. That's exactly what they said about women. They're just animals, bro. I just said I ate They a hot said dog. exactly the same thing. They're just animals. And that's exactly the kind of speciesism that I'm fighting against. They're just blacks. They're just women. They're just animals. They're just gays. They're just ch children. No matter. They're just fucking slaves. They're not human. They're just animals. Yeah. So if you're against discrimination and slavery, are you or are you pro-racism too? No, of course not. I'm, I'm against all that stuff. Awesome, but are the animals free? No, I don't give a fuck about animals. I'm but are animals. the uh, you are against slavery. But are the animals free? No. So if you're against slavery, how does that make sense to put animals in chains? Slavery is not the same as slaving animals, is it? It is. You actually just used that same term on yeah. animals and you just realized that, didn't you? Looking over to your friends for help because you just realized you used that term for animals. What is that? Is that cow free? No. It's enslaved. But I don't care about the cows. But you do realize if you're against slavery, a, a cow feels just like a human person. They are people. I'm just trying to go home, man. This is, this yeah, is I know. You can go home. I'm not enchaining you here, but you're chaining the animals. Am I, am I enchained like a cow? You are not enchained here, right? But the cows are. You're a free person. That's the thing that I'm trying to tell you. You have choices. Right, so you have I, the human have choice, possibility. No, wait, I have actually have a point. If why I, do you choose violence if I, you have the choice? Wait. If I have a choice, you then do. Why, why can't I eat a hot dog? Because you have a human privilege to not choose cruelty. I just, I just, I just like meat. Like, it's my, That's the it's second my that you use your humanity. You, 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 you lose your humanity if you choose. I have the free choice to bang your nose right now and to break it. But that would make me a violent person. That would make me a violent person, right? You wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want that. And the animals don't want that either. Just because I have the choice or even it's legal does not make it moral. But you feel just the same way, you know? That I'm, I'm not going around saying uh, pro meat, pro meat. I don't you know actually you're... are. You said like 10 times hot dog in here. So what else is that? You actually dance Wait, on the deathbed ten, of animals. 10 times. At least. We yeah, have a, eight, we will have a hot dog times. counter in this video. 11 times. I love hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. So, and you're at the same time saying not that you're not pro meat, pro meat. That's exactly what you're doing. No, I just don't think I should be approaching people. It's a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you what you should be a pro why are you approaching animals then? I'm not approaching animals. I'm just yeah, you're not. sending them to the slaughterhouse. You're putting a gun to their head. I'm you're putting guns, I'm literally the putting their dead bodies in your I'm in your mouth. You buy for murder. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to wrap things up here, guys. It's your responsibility whether innocent animals are standing enslaved at the slaughterhouse right now or not. You have the human privilege to choose your choice, you said that very well, uh, to be against slavery. You can go, it's a free country, you're I a free just, person here, yeah, the up, cows are not. No, I will not, you're a fucking murderer, I have no respect for you. Yeah. Grow up, be vegan, not brutal. You have no argument. You're against slavery, if you're against slavery, you have to be vegan, unless you want to be a fucking hypocrite. Ah yeah, guck mal, here is sea life. Ekelhaft. How would you like it if the animals you're treating like eating them? Are you vegan? No vegan. Can I treat your family like you treat the animals? How would you like that? Would you like that or not? No. So don't the animal families deserve the respect to not be treated that way as property?
Well, what's so complicated about cutting heads off? You need a justification for violence. Now, is there a good reason to consume animal products and their stolen mother milk? What are your shoes are made of? Vegan leather. Really? Yeah. And how can it be vegan leather? Because it's recycled plastic. So it's plastic? Yeah. Recycled plastic. And even if it weren't, there would be no justification for you to cut animals' heads off. Even all if those were old leather shoes. So why do you consume animal products? Why not? Because animals' heads are being cut off for that and they can feel just like we do. Sometimes they are killed in different ways. What's a good way to cut someone's head off who doesn't want to die? Look, you're a mother. You're a mother. Would you want me to take your child away from you? Would you want me to put your child in chains? No, thank you. No, thank you, right? But the animals, do they want that? They don't want that either. I don't care if you want to talk about this or not. You're a perpetrator. You're a violator. You're aggressive. You're aggressive towards animals. Your mother murders babies. Yeah, baby animals. You call me aggressive, you're the one paying to stab animals. That's the truth, right? You're probably you're probably drinking the milk of a mother who was raped. Her child was stolen. You're the one who's aggressive and you're a hypocrite. You know that you're a hypocrite. It's you because why? Non-vegan do not come to you and tell you how to become a vegan. Because I am not the one who's cutting heads off. Yeah, you're the one who's perpetrating violence. It's not violence what happens in a slaughterhouse? A slaughterhouse is not violence? What is it then? Are the animals being um, petted to death? No, I'm telling you the truth. The truth can never be violent. This is the same truth for you. Non-vegans like you too, you two murderers kill families. You should do that in front of the shops of- You're the consumer. You're the consumer. You're buying to stab animals. You're paying for that. Yes, you are. If you put animal flesh in your body, you're a murderer. If you take their milk, you're a hypocrite mother. You're a bad person and a bad mother. So we've been murderers since day one of the humankind, haven't we? Pardon? We've been murderers from day one of the humankind. Okay, just because we've done it since ages, it's not a justification to keep on doing it. Just because we haven't given women rights for ages, that's not a good reason to keep on not giving women's rights. Yeah. Just because a violence has been happening for thousands of years, it's not a good reason to continue it. We can live vegan now, so we need a good reason to cut animals' heads off. Do you have a good reason for that? No, you know what I can tell you is that people like you... Yeah, so you don't have a good reason, so you'd have to attack me personally, right? No. This is just deflecting from your own responsibility. You're a hypocrite and a murderer. Have a good vegan day. If you are offended by this truth, then you are the problem. Be vegan, not a hypocrite.